few people who live on this quiet residential street know that the address at the end of their block is where the future of human spaceflight is being built at Ingersoll Machine Tools. I would doubt many people in Rockford know that we are manufacturing these components. These aren't just any components. This is going to be some astronauts home. They are critical to NASA's effort to take humans back to the moon and on to Mars. So this is the barrel section of Orion. So it's the central section of the pressure vessel. It's where the astronauts will basically live and work and the only place they'll have to go while they're on this mission. It's what keeps us alive. The barrel is one of four components created by Ingersoll for Lockheed Martin, the aerospace company assembling the Orion spacecraft. It is equipment astronaut Rex Walheim will watch launch into orbit from the ground. He made history as part of the last space shuttle crew in 2011 and now is working as NASA's astronaut representative to the Orion program, which Walheim says is taking longer than expected. Everybody wanted to do this faster and everybody wanted the gap between the shuttle program and our deep space exploration to be shorter. But we are where we are and we've made tremendous progress now and now we're getting to the point where we're building the actual vehicles and we're going to test them and we're going to fly them. NASA's focus is now on the more difficult destinations. Program manager Mark Kirasic says letting commercial companies focus on developing equipment for low Earth orbit spaceflight to replace the retired space shuttle program allows NASA to focus resources on the new rockets in the space launch system and the Orion capsule. We have completed two test flights to date, a test of our abort system and our first orbital flight test. And right now we are building, we are about 75% complete with our next flight vehicle, which will fly on Exploration Mission 1. This barrel on display at Ingersoll Machine Tools is earmarked for the Orion capsule in Exploration Mission 2, which will take astronauts back to the moon by 2023, preparing them for the eventual journey to Mars. The last time astronauts orbited the moon, Ingersoll Sales Director Mike Reese was a young child. I've definitely played the Orion cool card with my children. I've brought them into the company on the weekends. I've let them walk up to and touch the flight hardware and get a chance to see what we're doing here. They think that the whole idea to go to Mars is very interesting and very cool. NASA's Exploration Mission 1, the first full test of the Space Launch System and Orion capsule, is scheduled later this year. NASA plans to send that unmanned Orion capsule 40,000 miles beyond the moon in the first mission on the agency's path to Mars, a destination they hope to reach by the 2030s. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Rockford, Illinois.